Uh, hey guys, uh, I'm back with another uh, quick tutorial, uh, and this is going to be on Photoshop shortcuts. Um, something that I I use Photoshop all day, every day, um, and it speeded my workflow up massively when I really kind of committed to learning some shortcut keys. Um, if you use Photoshop at all, I'd, I'd highly recommend getting to learn at least a few of these. Um, I'm going to be using the ones that I generally use from a design point of view, although these will apply to if you're doing uh, any kind of photo editing, that kind of thing at all. So, let's go to it. So I've got a design open that I'm currently working on. Um, I'm just going to run you through some of the shortcuts. Uh, we'll start with this rocket. So I've selected this rocket. Um, I generally don't use auto select layer or auto select group. I usually use the uh, command click method of selecting things. So if you can have a look at my layer palette over there, this is a command click on various things. It changes the selection. Okay, so starting with the rocket, um, really good one, really quick is the numerical keys for transparency. So if I want to change the rocket to 50%, I press number 5, 30%. Is number three, twenty percent, two, and so on and so on. Zero sets it back to a hundred. If you're really quick on the keys, press two very quickly. For example, eight eight will give me eighty-eight percent. So that's really handy. That uh, I use that all the time. Okay, so a few of the more common ones. Uh, Command T, transform. So that'll let me rotate, scale. Um, Edit the center point. So the basic transform tools. I'm gonna command Z undo that. Uh, T key is type, so I can go straight into the type layer. If you want to come out of the type layer without clicking anywhere, you press Command Return, and I'm gonna press V back from my main selection tool, or you can press M for marquee. Nice and easy. Uh, Apple D for deselect. B is brush. Uh, I'm going to give myself a new layer there. So I actually don't know the shortcut for new layer. I should really find that one out. New layer B for brush. And I can paint away on that layer. Obviously, you should all know Command Z to undo that. What you might not know is changing your brush size on the fly. I'm using Photoshop CC. Uh, so if I press Option Command, sorry, if I press Control Option, and drag left and right, you see the size of my brush is changing. The red isn't the colour of the brush, it's just showing me how that brush is affected. So that's the size of the brush. So that is control option dragging left and right. So let's make it nice and big. And control option again, dragging up and down and changing the hardness of the brush. You can see that happening there. So if you're painting something on the fly, these two tools really can get you to change your brush very quickly. Really worth knowing about them. So it's control, option, left and right for size, up and down for hardness. There we go. Okay, so let's do some more. So we did T for type, we've got E for eraser, B for brush, which we've done, I for eyedropper, if we want to pick a colour. Uh, U is the shape tool, and then if you press Shift and U, it will cycle through a different shape tool. So we're on the rectangle there, Shift and U to the rounded rectangle, Shift and U again to the circle, and through to the polygon line. Uh, what is that one? I don't know what the name of that one is. <laughs> Back to rectangle again. A is direct selection, which is always useful, um, especially if you're editing points of an object. Um, P is a pen tool and spacebar will give you that hand tool which allows you to move things apple minus zoom out sorry command minus zoom out command plus zoom back in if you lose your zoom completely i think it's command zero will reset you to 100 um, percent and what else? Let's do some blend modes. So I'm clicking back on the rocket, command clicking on the rocket, and we're going to do Option Shift M has given me a multiply on that layer. See that there? Option Shift O 
overlay, another popular one that I use. Option shift B is color burn. Option shift D, dodge. Uh, option shift N, back to normal again. Those are the main ones that I learn, but have a play around with those. Option shift F is soft light. I'm just trying some of these. I don't use a lot of these ones, but mainly I'm using overlay, multiply, and dodge. So I'll set that back to normal, which is Option Shift N, and let's see what else can we show you. Let's have a look at W's magic wand. Hate the magic wand, but it's it's always there. It's never going to go away, is it? So we've got E's eraser. G is gradient tool, which it won't let me do on that layer. So there we go. And if you press Shift and G, it will change that to paint bucket. So I'm going to go back to V. I'm just using space bar to move up and down. Back to T we can edit the type. Command return brings us out of that tool. V back to my selection tool and so on and so on. So there's a, a whole load of, of shortcuts to use. A couple more that I'll finish on just quickly is so we've got our foreground colour there and our background colour there, and this is one that I use all the time. Option, backspace, will fill with a foreground colour. Command, backspace, will fill with a background colour. So that is a really kind of cool one to use. Um, particularly on layers that have got their transparency preserved. So I can change the colour of that panel there just by using the option, delete, or command, Delete, backspace I should say. I always call it delete. Um, so that's it. Get to grips with some shortcut keys for Photoshop and you will speed up no end. Really worth knowing that guys. Um, have a play. Learn your own. But commit to doing it. It may take a day or so of just playing around like you normally do. But getting to grips with shortcut keys. It will be worth it in the long run. I absolutely guarantee it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more stuff. More 3D tutorials I hope. Um, more Photoshop tutorials, they're going to be coming. And watch your space. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.